I was just um, using those yesterday. Could I They're get my, awesome. uh, my card for this when you guys have a chance? Uh, this is amazing that it's back in stock. Mm -hmm. If you like the color one, I know so many of you were disappointed that it sold out super fast when this debuted last spring. It is back in stock. Finally, after months and months, we've got the multicolor pedal spinner along with the uh, copper spinner. Uh, we also have a bronze spinner, the copper and the um, multicolor sold out the last time they were on the air and they are both just back in stock. We have had the bronze off and on, but you know, it's just up to your personal preference. They are absolutely beautiful. I have two, I have two of these in my yard. The color one is um, right by my front walkway mm -hmm. and everyone comments on it because this takes just the tiniest bit of air to move. I can't tell you, every time I look at it, it's moving, it's yes. gorgeous. I have the copper one down further down my driveway where there's a bend in my driveway and I've got a little kind of a mulched area with some uh, birch trees and uh, kind of where I've created my butterfly garden. Mm -hmm. um, and this is standing right in the middle of all of the, the catnip and the, um, the, the, uh, butterfly, uh, fla the butterfly bushes and the other butterfly flowers that are down there. And it is always spinning. So when people come up my driveway before they turn, they see the copper spinner. And then as they continue on up to the house, when they get out of the car, they see the colorful spinner as they come up to my front door. They make absolutely no noise, but they are absolutely stunning. I put mine together in about two minutes. Yes, very easy assembly. And they're such nice quality, Nancy. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, one of the things that Plow and Hearth does so well is our oversized wind spinners. Um, you know, Plow and Hearth has been bringing us really unique products for your yard and your home for more than 30 years, and they've really specialized in these oversized wind spinners that give that statement piece, that something that in your yard just says, this is your home. This is something that neighbors are going to say, excuse me, where did you get that? Because that's really a cool item. So this is over six feet tall, about six and a quarter feet tall. Mm -hmm. You've got about 28 inches across. There's two pinwheels spinning independently of one another. Mm -hmm. Each petal here, we're calling it dancing petals because these look like flower petals to me. Each one is, look at this, it's hiding my hand. It's over seven inches across. And there are all these petals that are spinning around and then it also spins this on top way. of the pole. So, so every time change. you look at it, yes. it's gonna be facing a different direction mm -hmm. all by itself. So you're gonna put three pieces of a pole together. There's a stand with double stakes so it doesn't tip over, it stands in your soil and then you're gonna put the front and the back pedal mm -hmm. spinner on. Uh, you get the little- The rings um, on the inside. What do you call that little tool? It's a wrench. That little wrench that comes with it. Um, Nancy suggested to me that I check it from time to time to tighten it. I always check it and it's never loose. Mm -hmm. Just I so mean, I'm walking the dogs, really, just to make also, sure. Also, mm -hmm. um, this powder coated metal on here, the paint never fades, doesn't chip, always looks brand new. So we're very busy on the lines for the color one, which has been on everybody's wish list since it sold out. It's back in stock today. Uh, we also have it for you in the copper. You're looking at the bronze right now. The copper is a little more um, of a shiny orangey color. Okay, let me tell you this. This is $54 less expensive than buying it at Plow and Hearth. This is a very popular spinner on Plow and Hearth's website. They charge about $130 for mm -hmm. the exact same thing. Exact same thing. We're charging around 76. You're also getting four easy payments of under $20. So this is the place to shop for your plow and hearth favorites. Mm -hmm, it Absolutely. sure is. And you know, this is one of those things that when you're looking out at it, it's ever changing. I love that there's curved spokes. So that just adds that extra ge geometric design to it. There's uh, hoops in the center that also add to that, that really cool design element to it. Mm -hmm. This is a piece of sculpture that moves and we are really attracted to movement. Yeah. Our brains just really react to it. So when you're doing the dishes and you look out in your yard and you see this, it, there's a calming effect to it. Just like when we watch the ocean waves going yeah. in and out. It just has that really 
calm, you know, kind of calming effect well, to it. it and it's, it makes you happy. Let me just, mm -hmm. I mean, I always smile when I see this. And my friend Siobhan, who of course, my good friend, who's the Denim & Company buyer, who uh -huh. I talk about her all the time. Hello, Siobhan. <laughs> um, she's my neighbor also. And the first time I put these out, I dragged her over and I said, look, 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 it's spinning. <laughs> and I drove her up the driveway and she's like, oh my gosh, that is so gorgeous. Yes. And then I'm like, wait, 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 there's another one. So we went up to the front and I said, look at the color one right by my front door. It's stunning. And we both just stood there like silly ladies yes. and watched it spin because it just <laughs> made us so happy just to see it moving. And it will do the same thing for you. Yes. Your neighbors will love it. Your grandkids will love it. You'll love looking out the kitchen window out into your backyard, seeing it spin in the morning or as you come up your driveway, if you've got it in the front like me, you'll enjoy it. I look so forward to seeing it every time I come home. I agree. From work. I mean, it's just such a a peaceful, happy thing to have in your yard. And this is another one of those kind of items that will take you from all the beautiful color this summer when you've got flowers, you know, blooming and everything. And as they start to fade, you have them going into the, the fall so that you have something to look at as the leaves are starting to fall down. How beautiful yes. would our copper version be during the fall colors? But then in the winter, when you're looking out on the bleak landscape, you're going to see these beautiful wind spinners. And they're fine to leave outside, absolutely feel comfortable. Mine have been out oh for almost a year now and they're really um, you know hold up to the weather and to the wind that one right there is spinning with practically no air mm -hmm. the one that we showed you prior to that that was spinning really quickly that's on an average air day if you're getting ready for a thunderstorm and it's windy this thing will spin like crazy but it doesn't break it doesn't fly off the stem or anything. I mean, these spin amazingly easily. Yes. And it's almost like they have little ball bearings or something well, inside. Well, there are. It's, I'm glad you mentioned that because these don't just have holes that are poked into each one of these pinwheels. Uh -huh. There are precision bearings. So they're designed and engineered, actually, yeah. with perfect balance. And so right in here, there are precision bearings that make them spin very smoothly. I and think the this balance is... is created so that yes. they capture even the slightest wind. Mm -hmm. And so, and even when it's, they're going really fast. They're just really, really designed beautifully. And each one of the pedals is curved to capture the wind. This is my favorite of their wind spinners. I have several other ones here and there. Some of the other ones are a lot heavier. It takes a lot more wind to make them do anything. So, I mean, that's no fun. If you put a wind spinner out there and you it just sits there most of the time. <laughs> Uh, this one's amazing. I love it. It's like, whoo, it spins like you just blow on it practically and it spins. And it looks so beautiful because, again, different directions. And then, of course, the pole also spins around. Right. So as the wind catches these pedals, sometimes it's spinning like this. Exactly. And I love the design, too, that there's an airy yeah. quality to the middle of it. So you can see your... Um, you know, hydrangeas through it, or maybe you have some beautiful greenery. Yes, it doesn't perhaps, block your view. Exactly, so right. it just enhances your outdoor look right now mm -hmm. when there's still flowers in bloom or you have some beautiful bushes. Mm -hmm. But then as the seasons start changing, you still want something that's a statement piece, the size of like maybe a small tree even, you know, something that you can put outside that you can look at and enjoy well, during all seasons of the that's year. That's a good point. If you, uh, you know, have a place where you want to a tree to grow, but you planted a baby tree and it's there's just not much going on there mm -hmm. yet. This is a great gap filler. It is. If you want some height. Uh, and then as your tree grows, you can move this to a different spot. I just, that's what, actually what I did with one of mine. Mm -hmm. uh, Sheila's on the line from Georgia. And uh, Sheila, I hear you have the bronze. Is that correct? Sheila? Uh oh, did we lose Sheila? She waited forever. Aww. I think we lost her. All right, uh, we'll check and see if she's still there. Um, I wanted to mention too that, I'm sorry, Stan, how many of these are gone? Tw 1,200 ordered, almost all of those are the color because everybody's been waiting for the color one to come back. The one that you're just looking at, let me just walk over here. This one right here. This mm -hmm. is the copper, and you can see how it is a mo uh, more of a glossy finish uh, and a little more of that coppery color than the bronze, which is a matte finish, mm -hmm. more of a matte finish. If you don't want the shiny, you want something that looks more vintage, like an old antique farm mm -hmm. item, uh, that's what the bronze will be. I know a lot of you incorporates the, like antique farm wheels and two wagon wheels and mm -hmm. things. Um, it's like a huge look right now for uh, landscaping. That bronze one would be perfect for that sort of thing. Uh, but the, the color one, you just can't beat it because it's just absolutely beautiful. Vivid royal blue, bright Kelly green, 
bright orange, golden yellow, and then you have that wonderful sort of a strawberry red petal as well. Lots of color, lots of color moving in different directions. It looks like a flower, it looks like a pinwheel. It doesn't take much wind for it to do something. I mean, mm -hmm. it really will almost always be moving in some fashion. Exactly, and another thing to point out about our colored one, that is foiled right there. We wanted it to have that look that it's like a little bit distressed or mm -hmm. foiling, and so there is a little bit of black Beautiful. peeking out of that, of, of each one of these petals. And it's also done on the inside. So no matter, all of them, no matter where you're looking at them, whether it's the copper, the bronze, or the colored version, mm -hmm. you've got the color and the, the same kind of dimpling effect or foiling effect on the inside as well as on the outside. So no matter which way it's spinning or turning, you have a really beautiful sculpture that's moving mm -hmm. in your yard. That one right there, mine's always spinning at least that fast. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I mean, I think I've looked out my window maybe twice since last spring where it wasn't moving at all. Mm -hmm. And that was on a day where it was just like zip, like no air. But it will move a little bit almost all the time and it'll move a lot frequently. And it's just beautiful. It's beautiful from the street, from your window, from your back porch. It's just fun to have it out there moving, creating dancing shadows and mm -hmm. uh, sparkling in the sunlight. And, you know, it just adds some height where you need it. If you've got yes. uh, a lot of baby plants that aren't tall yet, it's nice to have some height with this. You can create a gardenscape around it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can, it but though, if you have more established plants in your garden, it has enough height yes. that you'll be able to see it over the top of those, which is what's going on with mine in the front yard. Um, and this is going to be uh, almost 76 inches high. So that is, what is About that, six, eight times six, 12 is? Uh, six and a quarter in, six and a yeah. quarter feet tall. Yes. So a little over six feet tall, about 28 inches across. Yeah. And so you have a really nice presence here. And again, feel free to use these outside and, uh, you know, enjoying them all season now, but it'll carry you into the fall. It'll carry you into the winter when not much else is going on in your garden. Yeah. So this is something really gorgeous, like you said, a, a, a above your lower plants right now, uh -huh. or maybe in that spot in the garden that something just doesn't flourish you know also, we all have something a place you know where there's nothing going on and so this is a great piece for that it's easy to assemble I just want to make sure mm -hmm. you understand yes. but when you get the assembly sheet from plow and heart it actually makes sense it's yes. in English it's got good directions you don't have to guess because they forgot to put a sentence uh, like so many things I've tried to assemble which is like oh who did these directions yes uh, so this is easy it'll only take you a few minutes and you'll have so much satisfaction from having this in your yard. So, uh, Stan, what was your update, my friend? 1,700 ordered. Many of those are the color choice. If you'd